So the heading goes is, do not put your cleverness in front of your communication. This is a quote to ask that heading. Creative people are paid to be creative. So in order to justify their salaries, they need to be seen to have a clever ideas. I have no argument or involvement with clever ideas. These are often the best. The problem that is good ideas is not always to, be, to come along, but great ideas even less often. So that means, of course, what great ideas is in the sense of us. We got the idea, we got of helping people, but the great idea that God had of gone going online was a quick decision on our side. So just to continue quickly, in their need to prove their worth, creative people often produce work which on the surface appears clever, but has little substance. Instead of trying to find a quick fix, if they were to spend time finding out what was the problem, they would discover the solution. So just in sense with regards to us again, what we've done for this online platform. We didn't put our cleverness in front of our communication. We took a step back, we found out what was the problem. We had an innovative mindset from Mr. Hendricks himself to go online. A strong team to support that structure, to build the whole training online and use it as a positive to create the system. So we didn't just take an idea, we had a great idea and made it successful. Yes, it's still in the makings of becoming great and perfect. However, it's an idea that is worth to me. That is my biggest that we're going to wait on. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Awesome. Coach, and you know I love you. And I know you're strong. I know you and you I know you you're strong and I know that, that you you want to, to carry the, the Joseph, the Nico blood. And I'm all to, to support you. Always. I know that. I know that. I know that. You. Mr. Goliath, give us your quick two-minute takeaway, bro. I won't stop <laughs> living life until I've lived life to tell its least. So meaningly, I'll not give up on life regardless of whatever setbacks I may face. Because there's so much I still want to see and still want to enjoy. Um, so basically, so whatever setback comes your way, you will basically make that, take that and make it into a positive. So that whatever your goals is, so whatever you set your mind on, you want to basically go and achieve that. So you don't look um, into these um, things that's happening now or setbacks. So you look in the positive and make the best out of it and basically strive for what you believe and for what you want out of life. By doing what? What must you do? So like you said, by do is by learning, reading. Um, basically, um, see how you can overcome the challenge, how you can overcome that problem. So you need to basically uh, 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 invest in yourself. Coach so Nico, tell, tell him, to tell him the, what he needs to do. Give him one thing that he needs to do. Just by taking massive action, bro. There we go. Massive action. GSD. Take action. Thanks, Goliath. Thank you. Amy. Hey, guys. So, today I'm still reading from the book um, The Greatness Guide by Robin Sharma. And I read this chapter on leadership, uh, success, which begins uh, on the extra mile. So, um, what I took from this chapter is uh, true leadership is when you and they make an example of salespeople. So it's making those extra calls at the end of an exhausting day because not because it's easy but because it's the right thing to do. So um, it and it's shown by a team who delivers on their value promises to its customers and deeps deep deep uh, digs deeper to wow them. And then um, it shows by the person who gets up on a cold freezing morning uh, to work out and throw on their working gear, um, not because um, not because it's fun, but because it's the wise thing to do. And um, 
also like in this chapter it actually asked me um to think about this like to think about all these um qualities and um ideas and to actually like dwell on it and yes ordinary people they don't spend the most most of the time um giving out the space and give and going this extra mile but like who ever said that you were ordinary so basically um yeah just like going the extra mile and um just taking these things into co- consideration and i know uh, that this kind of quality like it's installed in me and it's installed in each and every one of us uh, obviously like what god just said we just need to like really gst and man up and dig the uh, dig deep in with within ourselves to um exhort this and it was my big uh, take out and also like uh a pk to myself <laughs> awesome I saw this thing over the weekend and it kind of just stuck in my mind. It's somebody that you do like, Carrie V. I'm going to show you the picture and what it says there. It says, um, not sure if you can see the words. It says the comparison kills creativity. Can you guys see the photo clearly? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So by just looking at this photo, you kind of already get what I'm trying to say. by and say comparison kills your creativity if you look the top photo the poor lady over here is trying so hard to copy the flower and vase that's in front of her where the lady at the bottom is just using a mind she sees the picture but she's using her mind her creativity she's taking it to her picture and she's painting that and why this is sticking with me is because of the team we have and how we can apply that to us as a team number one we we don't compare ourselves to anyone which is also above and beyond that is something that we're doing great our creative mind is there we're thinking and we're just moving and look at showing at showing us that don't compare don't look at what virgin active is doing don't look at what overseas is doing just you know you know where you want to go you see where you want to go and just go with it let your creativity go 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 and that should apply to each of us with our individual lives as well stop thinking about your life and looking at like Oh my word, look at this person, they're 26, they have a car, they have a house, they're married. No, don't compare that. Yes. Look at your life. Be creative about it. I want to be 30, then I'm going to get married. Why? Because I'm rich. Because Amen. I'm wealthy. I can take care of my family now. Amen. No stresses. There we go. So just focus on that. Love that. Um, so remember guys, um, comparison kills your creativity. So be yourself. Just be yourself, go out there and kill it. Love it, love yeah. it. Powerful, awesome. powerful. Okay, Kelly, we got six minutes. Okay, cool. Keep it nice and short. So my takeaway is just live with discipline. So I think this is something that we need as a daily reminder because it's so important as a foundation to get where we want to be. So consistently, we need to perform small acts of courage and strengthen our individual willpower so that we can build that that muscle of self discipline um and it's also about making decisions discipline is a daily decision that you making to do something um consistently that's going to get you to where you want to be and you need to also start with yourself so each one of us as individuals need to practice um this discipline act and build that discipline muscle um let's not be hypocrites guys we are trying to help people uh, we trying to teach them discipline but we can't do that if we are not disciplined ourselves So the main takeaway is just live with discipline, start with yourself and then help and teach others because it is a muscle that can be built. Mm. Awesome. Nice. Alberto, you have five minutes. Okay, uh, my takeaway is, okay, I started today my one funnel away challenge. 30 days of building a funnel started today. Today was the first uh, task. It's kind of like a three-week type of thing. And it was just an indoctrination. And it all started with uh, belief, right? And something that, I, I mean, it's something that we speak about all the time, but it's something that is good to remind us. Same as discipline, same as, as hard work and so forth, which is the belief in, in yourself and in what you do. Like, we were speaking about it just now, that Nick uh, was speaking about having a strong mind. right and that starts with with the belief we all of us we are product of EFF bootcamp somewhere somehow not only body transformation but like mindset discipline uh, hard working we we are product of the product to understand this is like can we just said now this is what we teaching our members and we can only teach we can only sell we can only um 
give to them if ourselves we are so if ourselves we we believe in, in it so much that uh, regardless of whatever happens we still remain strong and firm in our decisions in, in, in we still remain strong in what we believe and the other thing that i took from uh, today's uh, class of pre uh, challenge because they call it like a pre pre warm up type of thing is was that it was that um, you need to figure out stuff Nobody will do for you. That's pretty much what they said. Yes, it's a challenge. Yes, they will guide you, but they'll fig- they'll they'll give you the tools. They'll tell you to figure it out. And according to what Russell said, had said as well, is that this is the beginning of uh, an entrepreneur entrepreneurial mindset where you don't wait for someone to tell you stuff. You figure it out. You find problem. You you're a problem solver, not a, a problem maker or a troublemaker. You you find solutions. You go kill yourself or whatever, but you 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 need to make sure that you find a problem and you need to find a solution as well. You need to find a way around it. If you don't know, Google. If you if you if you can't Google, then I'm sorry, but like find a solution. That's that's those were my my biggest takeaways. Uh, believe in the product. Believe in yourself and make a way. Make a way. As simple as that. Make a way. Awful. Okay, so mine is touching a bit on Billy's. Um, it's about focus and discipline from the book, The Leading Side in EU. So I'm going to read something from the book and I'm going to give my takeaway. So Margaret, Th- Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister of Britain, um, was asked how does she manage to be the Prime Minister of Britain. Firstly, she's the first female and secondly, it's the Prime Minister of Britain, right? So she said all she does is just, she just stays focused. She's self-disciplined. And she said all she has is just desperately, to, desperately she wants to succeed. She doesn't know anyone who has gotten to the top without hard work. And she said this is the recipe for success. So why I thought this is important is because the Prime Minister of Britain, first like I said, she's a female and second is the Prime Minister of Britain, she's looking after the country, right? During this time, it's easy for us to lose focus, to lose our discipline um, because it's a pandemic. We can all just hide into our shell, you know, use this as an excuse for why we can't grow, use this as an excuse for why we can't innovate, and use this as an excuse why to get lazy and to lose the discipline and focus we have. So firstly, we have a goal in mind. Before this, I did speak about goals and how important that is. So we have a goal in mind. Our goal is to thrive through this, firstly. Secondly, is to get a thousand members online, on board, and on top of that, to let EFA Bootcamp explode all over, not just in South Africa, not just in Cape Town, but all over. We're really kindly, um, you know, drilling into that already. So we really have a clear goal in mind. But now we have a clear goal in mind. Now we need to instill that focus, that discipline. So this is also towards me. And this is why I thought this is so powerful is because it's easy for us to just, you know, lose focus quickly because there's so much going on in our mind. Um, but we need to re- remember what the, the clear goal is. We need to, to re- like tell ourselves, yeah, get back in line. Okay, cool. So then with the goal it's um, and the focus, you need the persistence. So we're constantly meeting every single day to make this product better. You know, um, God is constantly coming up with the new ideas and telling our team, well, how are we going to be implementing this? What are we going to be doing? So he has a persistence inside of him and we all also have that persistence inside of us as well to keep this thing going and moving.